One Man Show. You are watching the One Man Show. Ooh, one. It's the One Man Show. Starring me. <laughs> so, here we are. The One Man Show coming to you from a rain sodden Eden Valley in Cumbria. <clears throat> I'm sick to bloody death of the weather this year. This time last year, I'd filmed the Eden Valley, I'd been to see people, I'd done things. <sighs> this year, well okay, this is my back issue, but the weather's just shit. There's been a band of rain between the Scottish borders and Manchester for about four months. It's driving me nuts. Not, I mean, nothing you can do about it though, is there? Not a bloody thing. So, what are we going to talk about today then, boys and girls? Well, there's something that... I watched something last night and it, it kind of resonated with me. You see, there are teenagers in this world who have become multimillionaires. There are adults in their 20s and 30s who have become billionaires. Billionaires, not million, billionaires. Through the onset of the internet. And we think, well, God, they've got it easy, haven't they? They don't know what life's all about. They haven't lived it, especially when you're in your, in your 50s, you look back and you think, oh my God, what would it have been like back in the day? Uh, what would it have been like back in the day? For example, when I was a recruit instructor in the army. I wouldn't have dared film the stuff we used to get up to, man. Hell, fire. But everything now is all about selfie me and selfie this. And look what a wonderful life I'm having compared to other people. And do you know what makes us all feel depressed? Why am I not a millionaire by posting pictures on Instagram? Why can't I travel the world and somebody pay me to do it? It's not bloody reality. That's why. But let me say something to you. If you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, even bloody 90s. What technology has done is enabled you to run a business from this. This is the most powerful piece of equipment ever produced by man. It connects to the internet. You can take photographs, you can upload them. You can buy things, sell things, do things. Use social media to reach around the world. There is nothing to stop you in 2016 getting out here, taking photographs and doing what you want to do. Do you know what I mean? I'm even having sheep looking at me because I'm getting a bit aggravated. <laughs> And I mentioned a couple of videos ago, if you wear your fishnet stockings and your red high heels, right about that. If you like making model aircraft, or you know, your airfix models, photograph and write about that. Do something. Actually, I wouldn't mind somebody showing me how to put aircraft, airfix models together. I used to enjoy that as a kid. You know, where you'd get your Spitfire and you'd put it together with your airfix glue as we pretended to shoot down the Germans. Something which I thought of four or five years ago, and I'm not going to share it with you, but I believe... Just changing the camera. I believe that we can do anything we want in this world. 
Now I'm going to get a little bit macabre here. I'm going to get a little bit kind of... Mm, some of you might not like this. But let me show you something. See that? That's where every goddamn single one of us is going to end up. Dead. It's coming to you like an out of control steam train. It's going to come across you faster than you've ever realised in your life. You see, it was only yesterday that I got on the train to go to uh, Chichester to join the Royal Military Police. It's only yesterday that I went through the gates at, at Rowcroft Barracks at Arborfield when I transferred into the Remy. But the reason we think it's only yesterday, your brain's photographic. It has no perception whatsoever going back over. No perception at all. We're on this planet for an amazing amount of time. Compared to a hamster. And it's up to you to make something of it. I'll get it out again. I would say 90% if not more of the population have one of these. Be it an iPhone, Samsung, LG, whatever. And you can run a business from it. It takes video. It takes photographs. Now granted, also, not everybody wants to run a business. 90% of the population are happy going to work, doing the jobs. I've gone up a hill. See me hill? This getting all lag sucked. Getting your monthly wage and going home. You know, doing your budget. Because working for yourself isn't for everybody. You see, the other side of the coin is... If you don't make money that day, nobody's going to give you anything. Nobody's going to come and knock on your door. And say, there you go. Except maybe the government, if you're unemployed or, or you're on the sick. But what really inspires me, there are no limits in this world. Only those you place upon yourself. I've moaned and groaned for the last month about my back. I'm walking here. <laughs> With a little bit of, it's kind of more of a, I'm still here, but the pain isn't a great deal. So what could I have done? Well, I'm writing my life story. One man! <laughs> I've laughed, I've cried. I've nearly died four times. I've had two disastrous marriages. And I've had it all. And I've lost it all twice. And that's not even the half of it. But what I find interesting also is people have said they'll buy it. Hey, I'm only me. I'm nobody special. I never have been, never will be. But there's times that, you know, people watch crappy programs like, what was it, Celebrity Big Brother? Because we want to look into other people's lives. I put two um, video guides up this morning, my digital video guides, for the Lake District and uh, north and mid Wales. And you know something? If I've helped one person, 
if I've helped one person find out, actually I've never been there, that looks quite good. Let's go. And if I can help somebody have a better experience on their motorbike, you can go in your bloody car if you want. It's the same roads. But if I can help somebody have a better experience, a little micro adventure, to follow in my footsteps or my tyre tracks, that's what gets me out to bed in the morning. Nobody taught me how to film, how to edit, how to write, how to make photographs, how to make digital publications. Nobody taught me. I'm self-taught. <sighs> okay, I've watched people, but I've never been trained as such. Could you learn as you go along? And that's what I love to do. So as I get towards turning round and heading back home, the rain has started to started to stop. <laughs> the rain isn't raining as hard as it was, which is good. And uh, it's something which oh, do you know? I'll finish on this. If you're lucky enough to wake up in the morning, God willing, if you're lucky enough to wake up in the morning, be able to dress yourself, feed yourself because you're making enough money to buy food, have somewhere to live because you're making enough money to pay your mortgage or your rent and all your other bills such as your gas and your electric and your water and stuff. That you have a motorbike that you can get on or a car that you can drive and you're making enough money to go where you want, when you want, for as long as you want with whoever you want. And if you fall ill, you've got a GP surgery that you can go and call on and say, please fix me. And you have a little spark of a dream that you'd love to do something. And you pick up your phone and you see how that can work for you. Or your tablet, you know, your iPad or your tablet. You're luckier than 90 nine percent of the world's population i've seen absolute devastation now i've seen destruction in this country it's up to you to make your living it's up to you to make your life and the only limitations that there are are those that you place upon yourself so whether you're 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 or 90, look at your phone, look at your tablet, go and take some photographs, go and take a bit of video, have a pretty fun time having it, have a laugh and just see what you can achieve. And I very much look forward to seeing your results. Part two. <laughs> you knew it was coming, so don't give me that look. I want you to do something for me. It's up to you, you don't have to. I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to visualize a grave that you've seen recently. Now, lean back in your head, don't do it. Lean back in your mind and position yourself in that coffin looking up open your eyes in your head keep your eyes closed but as you're visualizing this you're lying in the coffin and you open your eyes and you see you're dead i want you to stay there for a few seconds 
and think about the things that you wish you'd done. The if onlys. Because that's the biggest word in the English dictionary, if. I want you to think about the ideas that you had. I want you to think about the family that you've left behind. <clears throat> but most of all, I want you to think about you. Why didn't you bring that idea to life? What were you scared of? Why didn't you think it was going to work? Why did you stay in the marriage that you hated? Why did you stay in the job that you hated? Why are you in a relationship and having affairs? Because some of you are. Some of you are having affairs, I know that for a fact. <clears throat> Why? Why put that pain onto somebody else? But as you're lying in your coffin, I want you to think about everybody who's going to end up like that. And how dare you lie in that coffin, having taken those ideas and dreams that you had with you. How dare you not leave them behind for others to benefit from or to carry on. How bloody dare you waste your life. So as you open your eyes again, get the piece of paper out and a pen or a pencil and start writing down. What are you going to leave for those? What ideas are you going to bring to life? What are you going to try? Because I'll tell you something now, you're going to fail more than you're going to win. I have failed and failed and failed time after time after time. And I guess that's why I succeed. Because I'm not scared to fail. If it doesn't work out, try something else. If that doesn't work out, try something else. But as you visualise yourself lying in that coffin, don't you bloody dare not bring your dreams and ideas to life before you do. Because that just sucks. Bye bye now. <laughs> doot doodly doot do. Doot doodly doot do. One man show. You are watching the one man show. Ooh.